12 years, and she's been the doctor, the doctor, the doctor, and nobody could heal her. Now, this is that would be a bad situation now, but back in, the, in, in their time, in these Bible times, it's even worse because women weren't treated as equals when they had their women things going on. So she was really supposed to be secluded. But it shows her faith on how she seeks Jesus out in this crowd. And it says, um, Neither could be healed of any. Came behind him and touched the border of his garment, and immediately her issue of blood stunned, and she was healed. And Jesus said, Who touched me? When all denied, and everybody denied, Jesus says, Who touched me? Because he feels this anointing going out of him. He says, Who touched me? And everybody around says, no, not me. I didn't touch it. And Peter said, uh, they were all with him. Master, the multitude thrown around thee, pressed thee, and said, thou, who touched me? So Peter said, Jesus, you got a hundred people around you. I mean, today you're a rock star. And everybody's around you. Everybody's touching. What do you mean? He said, no, I felt somebody touch me. He said, and Jesus said, somebody had touched me. For I perceive that virtue is gone out of me. And when the woman saw she was uh, not hid, she came trembling and fallen down before him. She declared unto him all the people, declared unto him before all the people for what cause she had touched him and how she had how she was immediately healed. So the woman is nervous. She's like, he knows I touched him. You know, she's trying to get a sneak. She's trying to get us there. And sometimes we try to do that. We get a like a generic prayer. We're like, Lord, I need this right there. I need you to pay the car, though. You know, or Lord, I hope I make this stoplight. Or, you know, some of those little generic prayers that we feel like we don't really need, but we do need them. You know, and Jesus is listening all the time. You know, those superficial prayers. But now she knows that he knows that she touched. So she's like, it was me. The Lord, she said, and I touched you. Because I have this issue, you know. But as soon as I touched you, Lord, I was healed. And Jesus says, um, and he said to her, daughter, be of comfort. Thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace. So just that touch and her faith healed her immediately, right then and there. Because she had to, but she had to do what she had to do as well. She had to press into where Jesus was. Now this is a crowd, and you can imagine this woman. And you, you've been in a crowd at a fair or a concert or whatever, and to get to the person that you want, sometimes you got to elbow people and move and step <laughs> on some stuff. But she knew that if she got to Jesus, that she would be healed. So I tell you that to say, you might have all kind of issues going on. You may have. Um, Issues of health, you may have issues with family, you may have, um, I've had drug issues in the past, issues with crime, and the way our nation is going, we all need to pray and get into Jesus yes, anyway. Yes, yes. So, sometimes you got to push in to where Jesus is. No matter how you get it, if you get it through praise and worship, if you get it through Sunday morning worship, whatever, or if you got to get it one-on-one, -on -one, we got to press in and push in to where God is. Because when we get that touch, when we get that, we have that encounter with the Lord, then he can heal us of anything. Not just the issue of blood, but he can heal you. Stuff that you've been praying for, if you get, when you get that instant touch with Jesus, he can fix it just like that. I know, I'm, a, I'm standing here, I'm a witness. I watched him. My wife doesn't have diabetes. She doesn't have high blood pressure. Her liver is functioning correctly. You know, so just, God, uh, we, and we were pressing him. I'm talking about interceding, laying on hands. And we got to get back to that where we know what we know that God is a healer. And if you don't have that kind of faith right now, all you need is a mustard seed of faith. Yeah. It says in the word that if you have a mustard seed of faith, just a mustard, and we know how tiny a mustard seed is, you can tell God, tell, God, tell this mountain, be ye yet removed. And God will move that mountain. So if you don't have that kind of faith just yet, just keep pushing in and pushing in. And then when you're ready for it, when God, you, you won't even expect it, but God will give you that healing.